Hello everybody and welcome to XSDB 2.0. In this screencast I would like to help you to get started with your freshly installed XSDB. So I just went through the installer and I'm now ready to launch XSDB for the first time. How you launch XSDB does a bit depend on your operating system. So either you have an application icon installed somewhere or you could double click on the start.jar file which has been copied into your target directory. And <coughs> since I'm on Mac OS I'll use the install application here. While XSDB is starting up for the first time, you will notice how it installs various additional apps into the database. This is because the documentation, examples, tools and utilities do now all ship as separate apps, that is self-contained modular packages, which can later be removed or added to the database. We will learn more about the app concept in a minute. Once the splash screen disappears, you should find the XSDB server control icon in your system tray. If you do not have a system tray, then a toolbar dialog will pop up instead. Clicking on the XSDB icon in the system bar will reveal a pop-up menu which allows you to control the server and provides convenient shortcuts to the most often used tools and pages. So the dashboard is the central administration and application hub for XSDB 2.0. It works much like a tablet or smartphone home screen and displays a list of currently installed apps and plugins. Apps are self-contained applications which open in a separate browser window. Plugins run inside the dashboard main screen. The collection browser, um, the backup tool or the package manager are plugins whereas as the demo apps or the documentation are self-contained app application packages. To start with, we may want to click on the demo apps. The demo apps is a collection of little examples created uh, for you to get an impression uh, of XSDB's features and get started with XQuery. You can browse through the examples. You can uh, execute the example queries directly in line inside the browser window or you could also click on the edit button to open the corresponding code snippet in Excite. Excite is our XQuery development environment and you can immediately change your code here to try it out. Just click on the run button up there. The demo apps also include uh, more complex examples like for example uh, a, an Xforms demo which is based on better form. Again, you can have a look at the source code of those demo apps by clicking on the corresponding link. Going back to the dashboard, we may want to look at how to install additional packages. This is done through the package manager. The package manager is a plugin, so it opens inside the dashboard. However, since installing applications requires uh, database administration rights, you have to log in as the admin user first. The dashboard shows the currently installed um, packages to the top and available packages which can be downloaded from XSDB's public repository at the bottom. So we are going to install the Shakespeare's works in TI just as an example. XSDB 2.0 <clears throat> defines a common format for application packages as well as libraries to help you write modular and portable applications. The format is based on the EXPath packaging standard. So the app has now installed and we should see it on our dashboard main screen. There it is. Let's click on it. The Shakespeare app was created for training purposes. So you can study its source code to explore a more advanced example of an all XQuery web application. For now, let's just uh, generate a PDF to see XSDB's FO processing capabilities. Please note that everything is generated on the fly from the source XML, so nothing is cached or pre-generated. So here's our PDF. You may now be keen to upload some of your own data to get your hands wet on XQuery. Uploading data can be done in a number of ways. You may use the collection browser within the dashboard 
or you may, may use the Java admin client, especially if you're going to upload large data sets, or you may also upload data directly from within Excite. In Excite, we go to the Manage dialog, create a new collection, switch into it, and then click on the Upload button, and just drag and drop some files from our Finder window to the Upload button. As you can see, the XML documents have been uploaded as well as the image we have had included in the directory. So you may open a document to get an impression of how it looks like, and you may now immediately start writing your X queries against the uploaded documents. So we'll just do that. We know we uploaded it to the DB test collection, and then let's just query for the title of our documents. So this is a TI. So we have to use the TI namespace and we need to declare that. If you press control space anywhere in the editor, Excite provides a pop-up with uh, code templates and completions for function calls. We can now run this query and see its output below. Okay, so let's add some HTML around the whole thing to make it a bit more interesting. We'll generate a list from our titles List item. Close everything. Okay, and then we need to tell Exist that it should serialize this to um, HTML. And we'll save the query. Just name it test.xql. And now we should be able to um, run this query in a separate browser window and as a shortcut there's this little icon down here which we can now click and yeah here's our formatted HTML list. XSDB does also integrate well with external tools so for example to edit longer XML documents we could go to Oxygen, use its web dev connection, open one of the documents which we cite inside Exist for example, in this case, the quick start document from the XSDB documentation. What you see here is Oxygen's author mode, which makes it easier to edit longer uh, pieces of XML. Here's the source XML. So for a test, we may just change overview into introduction, save the document, go to our own documentation via the dashboard, open up the quick start and you see how the change is immediately vis visible on the generated web page. So this provides a quick turnaround for development and rapid prototyping. That's it for today. Thanks very much for listening and have a good day.